So we, we had a mentor, um, who I really liked Brian Snyder. He was a great guy to bounce ideas off of. Uh, he also opened up his network to us. Um, so th that, that was good. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. A me mentor is a very strong word in my mind, as in like what that that means. I think he was definitely a good. He he was a guide. Um, he he was very helpful. We have thirty five interviews, um, and in our first five, we found a guy Rob Tennant at the National Renewable Energy Lab, who is actually introduced to us by one of the R two M like people. Forget her last name. I want to say it's Shelly. Anyway, she introduced me to this person and then he like opened up his whole Rolodex of people we should reach out to. And uh, that's how we got to our, our magic 30 or 35 number. And I actually stay in contact with this guy to this day. And um, we see each other at conferences. He's actually not even in the field. Like we've made a pivot. So we don't even work with his like field, but he's been uh a great person to talk to. And I think like the concept of a champion broadly, even outside of customer discovery is extremely important. It's like, there is a difference between a champion and a mentor, right? So like a mentor is someone that like wants to teach you how to do stuff. They're willing to like kind of work with you above and beyond the call of duty, as far as like timing goes to really push you to that next level. Um, and a champion is someone that's really excited about your product or your offering, uh, your company, et cetera. And it is, I think it's less about maybe you. Uh, and it's, it's more that you want the world to know. Um, I think the, the term that uh, the marketing guy, Seth Godin, says is sneezers. It's like the first adopters are the people that want to just tell everyone uh, what's going on. And that's important both in trying to network, which is kind of what customer discovery is to a degree. And uh, also your champion inside a company once you're ready to start making sales.